Hey, I'm Mike. In this video, no sound in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I'll show you how to get it working. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I'm playing on the preview window here. And uh, well, despite seeing the flicking lines there to show that there is audio, even on this sequence here, I'm playing back and flicking lines here on the level meters, but absolutely no audio. So how do you get it? Well, if you're on a Mac, Premiere Pro CC menu, preferences, audio hardware is the way you need to go. If you're on PC, it's usually under the edit menu to get into preferences audio hardware, and you'll see for the input and output, I have the built-in microphone and built-in output configured currently, which is not what I want. So you will scroll down and then select your audio interface or your mixer or whatever you've got plugged in, wherever you want to hear sound, you select that. So in my case, I'm gonna choose my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixing console. Don't worry about this, just click yes to that. You do want to change your sound assignments. Default output, again, Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK. Uh, and then Master Clock should also default to that. Uh, don't need to worry about the buffer size or sample rate, uh, providing everything works, you won't need to adjust this. Um, then it's very important, if you have a, a multi-output device like I do here with multiple channels, uh, you'll need to make sure your left and right, these two speakers here, are on the right channel. Now usually I like to listen to audio on channel 7 and 8 of my Soundcraft desk. So I need to move this channel, uh, the left channel icon here, down a little bit uh, until it gets to channel 7. And the same with this, the right hand icon for the right hand speaker, I need to move it onto channel 8. So now I will hear left and right out of channels 7 and 8, that's a stereo fader on my mixer you may well just leave it as default one and two, it might work, work well for you. But for me, uh, I'm selecting a specific fader on my mixer uh, that I wanna hear the output. And obviously you have surround sound here, you have bass subwoofer as well, configuration, all of that can be set up here in the output mapping bit of the audio hardware settings inside preferences. Click okay to this and you should be okay. Uh, let's play some audio from the sequence. If you're interested to learn... And yes, you can hear, that's a terrible uh, camera microphone, but it is working. If I drag in the audio here, you'll also hear, let's solo this, uh, this quality audio. They open every couple Although it's not in sync, it month. does work, so that's good. Finally, I have audio back and working inside Adobe Premiere Pro, and hopefully after watching this video, you will do too. <laughs>